But first, the scorching heat is on in the Bay Area. It is Friday, September 1st. I'm Kenny Choi. And I'm Michelle Griego. Time now is 6.30. Some of the hottest temperatures in decades are expected this weekend. Here, as, here is a look at what is expected. Bay Area schools are not taking any chances. The changes they're making still ahead and the request PG&E has for you. But first, let's start with Netta Iranpour in the Weather Center. Yeah, when you see all these numbers on your screen, you're going to want to know this is dangerous heat, triple digits, record breakers. That's what we are dealing with today. Concord 115. Here's a live look right now at our conditions. Right now is comfortable, 70 degrees in Concord already, though 85 already in Oakland. Livermore a little bit cooler at 67. San Francisco 71. So get ready for some record breakers. Setting temper, uh, records for this day is Concord expected with 115, Livermore 116, even Napa at 105 degrees. We're also dealing with smoke. That haze is going to come into our area. It's going to get even stronger than what we saw yesterday as our air quality goes from unhealthy to very unhealthy, especially along the East Bay and Santa Clara Valleys. Coming up, I'll let you know when all this is going to clear up and when some cool air may finally work. Its way in. Kenny. Thank you. California's power grids will be put to the test today as the Bay Area sees record shattering temps during this heat wave. KPIX 5 Jessica Flores is live in Fremont this morning with safety tips and key concerns. Jessica. Hey, good morning, Kenny. That's right. We are at the PG&E supply yard here in Fremont. This is where crews are stocking up, gearing up for a very busy day. It's all hands on deck today as it's expected to have a record demand on the power grid. Now, last time the Bay Area saw a heat wave like this one back in June, we saw massive outages. About 40,000 people were without electricity at the height of it because people were cranking up their AC and overloading the grid. Today, state officials are hoping to avoid some of those outages. They're issuing a statewide flex alert. That's a call to conserve energy between the hours of 1 and 10 p.m. today. The California Independent System Operator, which oversees the power grid, is asking residents to set thermostats to 78 or higher. You want to cool your home with fans and drapes, turn off all unnecessary lights and appliances, use major appliances in the morning or late evening. So what we sometimes experience during heat events is transformer failure. That's because the transformers heat up over the course of the day, and when they don't have a chance to really cool down overnight, they can overheat. Also, PG&E says their meteorologists have pinpointed areas they expect to see outages, and crews are already out in those neighborhoods ready to respond. Now, at last check at this hour, there hasn't been any major outages, but again, PG&E is expecting those outages, especially in the Far East Bay. We're talking about Livermore and Concord, so if you live in those areas, you definitely want to uh, take notice of these uh, flex alerts. Conserve energy between 1 and 10 p.m. today. Reporting live in Fremont, I'm Jessica Flores, KPIX. Five. School officials are trying to make sure students stay safe in the heat today. Livermore High School canceled the junior varsity football game this afternoon. The varsity team will still play tonight. The school rented special cooling equipment and misting machines. Nearby in San Ramon, the Unified School District is canceling all outdoor activities today. And to track the temperatures expected in your area this weekend, you could download the KPIX 5 weather app. You could find it in Apple's App Store and on Google Play, and it's for free.